This is code.org. And this is combining two lists. There's a lot of different ways to do this. You could do it one after another like this. You could also do, let's reset and bloop. Down here, you can see it one in between the other, right? We have zebra, then ape, then yak kind of zigzag there. And you can also do it the fancy big world way, which is through concatenate. I'm going to show you all of this. Let's get going. This is code.org, and this is combining two lists. Why? Because we want to, and it is confusing. Let's fix that. So, to combine two lists, I want to go over two ways. The first way will be one after another. So, my final list would be ape, bear, camel, dog, then zebra, yak, xylophone. I couldn't think of an X for an animal. Walrus, forgive me. I really tried. I actually spent, more. it doesn't matter. So, that would be one after another. And then I'll also go through how to do every other. So maybe I want ape, then zebra, bear, then yak, all in one list. So to do this and make it clear, I'm going to do two functions. I'm going to plop one down here. Usually I would have all my events up at the top and then the functions that they call underneath them. But just for clarity, I'm going to do it this way. So I'll say uh, combine every other i'm very creative here and i'll say combine back combine next to each other maybe sure that's what we're gonna call it all right now how to do this for the first one normally in javascript you would use concatenate and I will show you what that is at the end of this video. But for now, let's use what we have within code.org. So I'm going to take loops. Now, let's just hit upon what a loop is, right? Four. So what this does is let's go ahead and log to the council. Log to the council just means throw stuff down here. It's used for debugging. Council log. And I'm going to say the letter I. And then I'm just going to put some space here. Space I. Now, why am I doing this? Because I want, well, you'll see. Red button. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Where is that coming from? It's coming from our for loop. And this is what we're going to use to combine our loops. It can also combine our lists or arrays. It can also be used to print lists. It can be used for basically anything. But right now, we want to combine two lists. So how I'm going to do this, for var i is equal to 0, i is less than four. Now, what if our list had more than four or, well, less than four? What I will do is, since I know it is going to be two lists, I want it to be less than the length of the list because I never want to go beyond the end of the list. So I'll say i is always going to need to be equal to first list dot length, i plus plus. Now, what will this do? As you can see here, i starts at zero. So the weird thing about lists or arrays is they are indexed at zero. That's a fancy way to say ape is at zero, bear is at one, camel's at two, dog is at three. There are four items in the list. The list length is four. Wait, but you said dog was at three. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ape is at one, ape is at zero, bear is at one, camel's at two, dog is at three. How many things are in the list? Four. So now if I say I is equal to zero, I must be less than the length of the list. So what's the length of this list? Four. I'm going to start I at zero. I plus plus just means add one to I each time. So I starts at zero. We go through. And what I will do, I'm going to just create a list up here that just says combo list. There's a few ways I could go about this, but instead of editing the original, instead of editing the original, I'm going to add to this. So now we need append. Append smacks something on to the end of a list, which is great. We have a blank list. So append item. Blop. Now, what am I going to use? Well, I want to use my combo list. So to my combo list. And what am I going to append? Well, I want to append whatever's in the first list at this point. So, and I can show you what I mean using this council still. Let's do uh, f list quote plus first list i. So this will show you what's there at index. 
So apple, bear, camel, dog, great. That's what I want to add. Notice though this I's in quotes. To get the variable, we need first and then the bracket for the index. So I will smack that into the combo list. Let's go ahead and do boop. This is just a way to check what's inside of this list at the time. It's just for debugging. Notice it's all F right there, but now, boom. So now we have that combo list getting filled in. I can show you here too. Boom. Well, that's great. We have just one list, but Mr. Kaiser, we need multiple lists. And this is the power of functions. Now, to be clear, we could do this again, right? And this is going to be repeat code, which you shouldn't do. It's why functions, I guess, exist. But I'm going to grab line 7 through 10. I'm going to do control C. This is not the way you want to do this. Don't do this. And do control V. Now, instead of J, I, I'll say J. Real quick here. Right? And J. J. Um, let's put a space there just to make it pretty. And J and J, and now I need it for what list? My second list, right? So now I'm gonna say, okay, don't go past the end of the second list, append on to the end of combo list, second list. And what do we wanna print out? Second list. Oh no, we can still print out combo because that's what we're adding to. And let's see if I broke something. All right, so you can see here, and that's not as pretty as we would like it. Let's do a space. You can see here, this will work, right? We got them all mushed into one list, but we basically copied, and by basically, we copied and pasted code. Don't do that. Instead, I'm gonna say combine, and let's actually head over to functions because I'm gonna want a parameter, fancy talk, I know. This technically works, let me just be clear. This works, it's technically fine. It's not best practice though. So now I'm gonna say, uh, combine a list. Sure. And then what's this? I'm going to say list to combo. Cool. Now, I'm going to take this for loop here and list to combo. That's going to be our variable. That's going to be what I use up here. Whoop instead. So now up here, I'm going to say, instead of writing all that out, I'm going to ask it to run here. But I need to tell it, I need to tell it what list I want to use right there. Because the computer will get to my function here, combine a list and say what? And it says list to combine. And or maybe it would be easier if I say something like target list. Target list. Okay. And so now I need to tell it what the target list will be. Well, first, I'm going to need to change that, is the first list. If this isn't quite making sense, hang with me. Target list, less than that. Append item, we're still going to be combo list because that's what we're adding to. Now, what goes here, not first list anymore because we're using the word target list to reference that. Let me get rid of that for now. All right, so now I can get rid of all of this. And let's go ahead just to show you at the end. I'm going to do a set text. Now I got to get rid of this. And I need to do a join to smash all this together. Hmm, what should I use to join them? I will join them with a hyphen in, which just means new line. Or I could do a, I don't know, that thing. All right, let's see. Apple, bear, camel, dog. We got one list. Now we need both of them. And what goes on here? I say combine a list and the computer goes, what in the heck is that? Smack. Oh, here it is. Okay, target list. What's that? I don't know. What's a target list? Smack. Oh, it's first list. What was first list? Oh, it's this stuff. Okay, so target list means first list. Variable i is equal to zero. i is less than the length of the target list. What was the target list? Target list is first list. First list is four. I is less than four. I plus plus. I knew append a combo list. What's combo list? Right here. Cool. Target list I. What was target list? Oh, yeah. This I. What's I at first? Zero. So eight. And then it loops through and adds to that list. Now we print it out. And that's how we get this first chunk. 
I want to do that again, though. So I've used it once. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to call, this is called a function call, because I asked the function to run by saying its name. So combine a list. Now this time, I don't want to do first list again. I want to add to the list we have, and I want to add to it the second list. And I'm going to kind of joop, we just real quick. I'm going to just copy and paste because it's got to be. Oh, that won't let me. All right. I'm going to do it like this and then get rid of this. Boom. And there we are. So now is the next part. The next part is what if you want it to go every other item? Well, what's really cool is it's going to be pretty similar to this. To do every other item, I'm going to use my green button, though, and I will have combine every other item. And I'm not actually going to pass it anything, so I'm just going to say combine every other. And we need a for loop. What's tricky about this for since it's in its own function, I can use I again down here. What's tricky, though, is if you combine every other right off the bat, it's going to add everything to the start of the list. So let's see. Let's take. Insert to do this. And what's my first list? I'll say. First list. At what index? I'm just going to say I because I will change. And then what do I want to combine it with? Well, we want to use every other. So I'm going to say second list I. So that will be, hey, this first thing means the entire list. You're just telling it where it goes. The second one is the index you want to add it to. And this third one is what item. So I'm going to go ahead, though, and also use a counts log so you can see what actually is happening under the hood when I do this. Let's see what first list is each time. F. And it's going to yell at me because this is not how you should be printing a list, but whatever. Green. So zebra, bear, camel, dog, zebra, yak, ape. Wait a minute. It's adding it all to the beginning. Why is it doing that? Right. It's not actually it's not actually. Oh, well, maybe if this is what you want, by the way, this is how you can add everything to the beginning of the list. But this isn't what we're going for. It's not actually going every other. And that is because when it starts, I at zero, well, at zero is ape. It wants to add zebra, right? We want to add second list at zero. Second list zero is zebra. Well, so it puts this here. Zebra is now at zero. Ape is now at one. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top. I was zero. I plus plus means I is now one. So now at the one place, it says, OK, second list one. I'm going to add in the one index yak plop. And since we're adding to the list, it's pushing everything back. How you can avoid this is reverse. Do the do the iteration over the list starting at the end. And so this works really similar, just like I plus plus means I is equal to I plus one. I could do I minus minus, but I want to be even more clear. I'm going to do I is equal to I minus one. Now, I want to start off with this being the length. So I'm going to say. Whatever list I'm going to combine, so I'll say I'm always going to do the second list. And since I know I'll always do that, I'm going to do second list dot length. And then I need I as long as I is greater than or equal to zero. Starting from the back means we can do every other item. So now second list I, right? First list, even if they're different lengths, I don't care as long as there's more in the first list than in the second list. And even that won't matter because of how we're going to be adding. If there's more in the second list, it will only add up to the point. If for some reason there is more in the second list, it will just keep adding to the front of our list at this point. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And since I'm inserting this to second list to first list, I'll print out first list. Boom. Oh, look, dog, walrus, camel, xylophone, bear, Yak, ape, zebra. And now we can actually get these lists set and combined 
together. If you're interested in how we can get them to the screen, I do have videos on how to print out a list as well. So, ta-da, list combination success. Since this is just an example, I will post it in the description. Take a look, hope it inspires something cool. Oh, and before I forget, I did promise I'll show you concatenate. JavaScript's really powerful, guys. We're learning big kid code. That's code.org makes it looks kind of kiddish at times, but it's the real deal. So let me just show you real quick. Blue, I know this will work because this is actually JavaScript. So on event, blue button. Now, what do I want to do? I want to mash together two lists. So I'm going to say first list dot concat second list, All right? And then I'm just going to do council.log first list because now they should be combined. Oh, except not first list. Uh, let me just make a var combo thing or var C, we'll say, and then print out C and reset run. What is this? Blue? Blue. But ah, uh, because that's how JavaScript works. It's all under the hood. Okay. Once you're a web developer and future big wig at some tech company, definitely check out using that type of stuff. There's documentation if you Google JavaScript concat, but the code.org way all up here. Have fun, build something awesome.